we are now focusing on indian geography and obviously if i am talking about indian geography then uh, we have to draw map of india first you are with us from various lectures history geography and we discuss everything with respect to map but i want to make clear again that whatever maps we are drawing here they are not according to scale and according to standard they are not intended for any political purpose even colors are used they are also having no value that is just to make some separation it is not that always i am using blue color for river or ocean it is not any color just to get differentiate we are using that so i am giving you here again idea that when i am drawing map that map is not at all perfect map that is just to get idea and what is my request that you should also try to draw map along with me say so we are not perfect in drawing but when we are drawing something many ideas get clear in our mind so try to draw map with me uh, and try to draw whatever the important geographical features we are drawing here in the map so first i am focusing on map of india but what is the thing that when i am talking of india i can't speak only about present india we got several geographical parts and features they are there they are there in afghanistan in china in brahmadesh or that is called as myanmar nowadays sri lanka etc so i have to draw along with india these all other our neighboring nations now they are neighboring nation but uh, in history we discuss some thousand years ago these all neighboring nations were part of india only so let us focus on that because uh, say we can divide the parts in nation but nature can't and so we have to take help of all these thing so try to draw with me uh, we are always starting out map of india when we are drawing that is from gujarat that is very helpful for us then there is kutch territory of gujarat now here uh, we have to make line something here hmm? so this way there should be a line that is for general idea then himachal up or uttaranchal part of up here andaman and nicobar islands here lakshadweep islands uh, here one more important island that is dew basically we are considering this is the india this is not at all perfect drawing but uh, in order to get certain ideas i am using here this type of drawing now keep in mind the tropic of cancer passes through this part so the southern part of this line is there in tropical indian country whereas this is this is in temperate zone but for india the climatic conditions are almost uniform i am not saying same to same but almost uniform so we are drawing here a mountain range from our previous lectures you are aware these mountain ranges are of 
we are calling Himalayan mountain ranges. So here in Pakistan, they are called as Suleiman mountain range, Kirthar mountain range. Then in Afghanistan, we are calling this as Hindu Kush. Then here in Kashmir, we have various ranges that Karakoram range, then Pir Panjal range. So like that in uh, Himachal and UP or uh, former UP, uh, that Uttaranchal, there we have different ranges like core part of Himalaya, greater part of Himalaya, Shivalik hills, etc. Then here Purvanchal, Sikkim, Himalaya, like that. But whatever the thing, these all we are considering Himalayan mountain ranges. So this is the world's largest mountain system. Now, uh, if you want to check out, this map is not perfect, but still from north to south, uh, this is mainland, whereas we are calling this part, uh, this is not obviously, but this and this part as island part of India. So in mainland, if you stretch out this distance, that is from north to south, then this distance is 3000 214 kilometer. So first I should say north to south. So here this distance. Now I am not writing. You can write down uh, this distance is 3214 kilometer. If you stretch out from maximum west to maximum east, then that distance that means I have to go from east to west or west to east. Then this distance here say east to west we are getting 2963 kilometer. So again I am revising north to south 3214 whereas east to west uh, sorry east to west we are getting 2963 kilometers. So this is the distance. Now if you observe the India is having fantastic coastal line. Now. I can't consider this because this we have donated to Pakistan as Indian part only but we are not saying now this is in India. So I have to eliminate this range but still Gujarat, then Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, then Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa or Odisha and West Bengal. These states are having a seashore. Whereas islands, now these Andaman Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Islands, they are considered as union territories or island part of India. Forget of island, just we have to go from here Gujarat to here Bengal. Then what this coastal line that is there, that is called as mainland coastal line of India. So mainland coastal line of India is 6100 kilometers. I am revising this part we are calling mainland uh, coastal line of India. So mainland coastal line of India that is there as 6100 kilometers. Whereas if I included all boundaries of this island and this Andaman and Nicobar island then these all boundaries if I added here for mainland then it becomes 7500 kilometers. So we have terrific coastal line that ranges from 6,100 kilometer mainland and 7,500 kilometer that is mainland plus island. India is having seventh largest surface area in the world. I am not saying largest nation. They are seventh largest. If I have to show here, then that number that is three. 287782. So, this is 32,87,782 square kilometer area. Yes, obviously. So, this much of area is there for India. Uh, I am revising 32,87,782 square kilometer area is there for India that accounts 2.4% of the world's total land. So whatever world's total land out of that 2.4% belong to India. 
having second largest population in the world. 